protesting tracks now and after a week of putting it on hold, doctors are resuming their protest again today. Resident Doctors Association earlier wrote to the Union Health Minister intimating the government of resuming their strike. Protesting doctors said that they waited patiently on the request of the central government, but despite the assurance, there's been no development in expediting NEET PG counselling and admission process. This amid the looming fear of a third wave as the Micron cases are rising. Doctors have been complaining of work overload and being understaffed. Let me first go across to my colleague Alok Singh, who's been tracking this. Alok, we have been covering the doctors' protest earlier as well. For one week, it was suspended. But now, since there's practically been no movement from the government side, after giving assurances, once again, the doctors are back on the streets. Well, uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, in fact, uh, today the doctors are going to again start their protest, which they had suspended a week, uh, week back. Uh, remember, uh, they are demanding uh, the uh, counselling, that is the need counselling, need PG counselling, and uh, through which 45,000 new doctors uh, are supposed to be inducted. So what they are saying that they are overburdened and in these two waves uh, of the corona, uh, they worked for 24 hours and... Uh, if these 20, if these 45,000 doctors are not to be inducted, are not inducted, then definitely in the third wave, which is uh, the likely to come, like uh, like already, already Omicron cases have already been increased. So they are saying that uh, uh, they are uh, going to stop the work, and they will definitely more overburdened at that point in time if they, uh, they were asked to do the work without those new uh, induction of doctors. So that is why. Uh, the, they want the need uh, uh, need counselling, that is the PG counselling, uh, which is stuck. Uh, remember, the government has uh, the central government has bring uh, one uh, quota reservation into into the induction uh, uh, or into the admission process of the new doctors, and that is being that the matter is now uh, subjudiced and the matter is also also reached to the Supreme Court. So uh, its date is on uh, the hearing of uh, this matter is uh, in the month of January. But the doctors say that at least uh, the government can start uh, the counselling so that the process uh, could be uh, expedited. But, uh, the but the government is not ready and government is saying that they are depending on the Supreme Court uh, decision. So this is the, this, is the, uh, matter, uh, this is the place where the matter is struck right now. So we have to wait that how... Uh, the services will be withdrawn, but if the, uh, if the doctors go uh, for the strike today again, then definitely the people, the common man, are going to suffer. So uh, we are here uh, protesting and we have to wait that how the doctors are going to intensify their protest from today onwards. Back to you. Right, Alok, stay with us. I'm also joined uh, in the broadcast by Dr. Vinay Kumar. He is the president of the Resident Doctors Association from Uttar Pradesh. This is, of course, a pan-India uh, doctor strike that we are looking at. Uh, Dr. Vinay Kumar, what, are the, what is the disappointment that the doctors are facing at the moment? If you could just tell us what's been the reaction from the government after assurance a week back. Uh, good morning. Actually, uh, doctors across the nation waited patiently uh, because uh, Ministry of Health and Welfare uh, said as that uh, it will expedite the counselling process uh, till 16th of December. So we put our agitation on hold. Actually, we are on agitation. We are not on strike. We are just withdrawing our work because resident doctors across the nation are overburdened. Actually, first year is now converted to second year. Second year is converted to third year, and third year is passed out. So the uh, uh, the overburden uh, overburden resident doctors just want that government should expedite the counseling and admission process and uh, the new batch should come asap as all of us know that uh, omicron uh, is now in india and cases are increasing so resident doctor are the backbone of this uh, covid management we just uh, want the government that these uh, counseling and admission process should be done ASAP basis, nothing else. But uh, most of the time, just uh, government is just assured us, only assurance is given to us. So we are forced now to again withdraw our work and we are withdrawing our work on a call of our national body, FODA. Uh, resident doctors across Uttar Pradesh are now withdrawing uh, for only OT elective services. And we, if government does not hear us on time, then we are forced to escalate our agitation. 
Right. Uh, in fact, uh, the other aspect of this, which is very important, Dr. Vinay Kumar, is the fact that patients are also inconvenienced. You know, there were several, while we were covering, we were one of the channels who, who were covering the doctor strike throughout on a daily basis. But at the yeah, same time, what? we also saw that there were several patients, outstation patients, unfortunately, who have traveled all the way to reach Delhi or Mumbai or whichever big city that they came in looking and hoping for treatment. They were unfortunately in a way turned away because in certain places, uh, emergency services were also, especially three hospitals in Delhi, big government hospitals, emergency services were also hit. And that is not fair. Uh, that is an aspect that we have to keep in mind. Yeah, we understand. We understand the patient point also. And patient care is uh, on priority basis for us. That's why we have channelized ourselves in a such a way that some of our colleagues uh, work uh, in the emergency as well as in the ward so that patient care is not compromised from our side because the patient is a uh, very uh, very very vip for us and we are just showing our agitation we uh, i have already said that we are not on strike we are just withdrawing and withdrawing work from uh, most of the places except emergency and covid areas patient care will not be compromised at any cost because patients are priority for us. Right, we will be tracking this very closely. Alok there on the ground in Delhi will have to, of course, see the impact uh, with him through the day uh, that it has on the ground. But of course, at the same time, a very, very important point that the doctors have in fact made throughout that their voices need to be heard. They are overburdened, as especially as the country is still fighting COVID. There needs to be, they need to be supplemented and supported in terms of adding more doctors into the, uh, into the workforce by the government. Alok there reporting from Delhi and Dr. Vinay Kumar joining us on the broadcast from Uttar Pradesh. Thank you so much for joining us in this uh, discussion.